Hi everyone and thanks for joining us. So as Larry had just mentioned and showed on the screen was our SF1008 Plus. So now I'm just going to do a quick demonstration and show you its capabilities. So right now I have this reader set up for any to allow any any verification plus body temperature and I've set my body temperature threshold at 100.4 which is the acceptable fever. So now I'm just going to come up and verify. So as you see, my temperature is underneath the threshold and it grants access. So what it does when it grants access is it actually opens the door, uh, our lock open relay. I can also do the same using a palm. So it verified my palm and now it's verifying my temperature is underneath the threshold. It is, so therefore it grants me access and opens the lock relay. So now what I'll do, is I'll show you what would happen if I came in over the temperature. So I'm going to set it to 95 degrees, which is something I know will, will cause it to alarm. So I'll just simply come up to it. It'll take my temperature, and then through my alarm output, I have it connected to a red LED light so that someone can, in the area can visibly see this, and you can also see on the reader itself, it's also designing the access. So now I can just go back into the menu and go over a few more of the features that this has. So I'm able to cancel this out here. I'll set this back to 100.4. And I'll just go over some of the options you have here. So you can enable temperature screening. You can disable it. You can disable, you can enable, sorry, you can enable denying access based on temperature. You can change your temperature units from Fahrenheit to centigrade. You also can change your temperature temperature measurement distance. At farthest, right now, it's at 18 inches, and that's its best working, uh, best working uh, distance. So you can also do manual temperature calibration for your area that you are in. And then if you still see it slightly off, you can do deviation correction by a degree or minus a degree or half a degree. And like Larry had mentioned and showed in the video, is that this also has mass detection. So right now, I'm going to throw on my trusty N95 mask, which has gained so much popularity over the last few weeks and months. So I'm just going to present myself to the reader. It's detecting my mask. And based on me wearing a mask, it's granting me access. Normal temperature. Thank you. So now, if I were to come up without the mask, when it's asking for it, you can see it says without mask, it beeps, denies me access, and opens my alarm output relay. So now when the next person comes up, they're wearing their mask, they're good to go, and that relay is deactivated. So another thing I'd like to show is our integration in our software with this. So we've added a temperature module in it as well. So as you can see here, I'm able to get screenshots of every single, uh, some of them are not as flattering because they happen on the fly, as you can see, but you're able to get full reporting here and this real-time monitoring for our temperature management. So you can see who's come in without a mask, who's come in with a mask, uh, who's above any type of uh, your threshold. You're also able to change your parameters here. You can get uh, more detailed reports, such as a statistics panel. You can get a temperature raw record of every person that's come in. You can even see an individual's uh, temperature record for a single day. So just based on yesterday, you can see all the times I verified on it. You also get all your over the temperature, over the threshold or abnormal temperature records, and you can even check by departments. So another great feature that this has built in now is that whether you're registered or unregistered on the reader, you can still walk up to it and get your temperature screened. So whether you have visitors coming into your building or if you have people that are registered and working in that building, you can still have them come up, registered or not, and have reporting done on them. So they can just simply walk up, get their temperature taken, and based on that, it will either open the lock relay or it will open the alarm output relay. And also with our software, you can also do even more reporting by email linkages. So once you get an abnormal temperature or if someone's not wearing a mask, you can set up email linkages to be able to actually 
email whoever is on site or in the area that needs to know what's going on. And so also here in the software, everything I just did on the reader itself, I'm able to do also on the device. So if I come to my setup here and I have my mask and temperature detection parameters, I'm able to do all of this simply right from, right from the software itself without needing to actually go out to the reader every time. 